All right, so this next tutorial is by far my favorite part of Canvas is the quizzes, the grading of those quizzes, and the writing of those quizzes. I love questioning students. I love the information I can get from these quizzes that I don't have to spend all my time grading. I love Canvas quizzes. Um, I'm going to, for brevity's sake, I'm not going to do all the typing. I did that, and I reached my timeline on this these videos. So what we do is we go to quizzes. We hit the plus sign. We make a new quiz. I've already done that. So I'm going to search for uh, the quiz I created and went over my time limit. There it is, the quiz, three questions. Um, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to pretend like I just hit the new button. I started a new quiz. going to go through this very quickly. Details. Gave it a title. Gave the qu directions for the quiz. Made it graded. You put it in the title. Sync to sys. Huge. Shuffle answers, got to do it, big thing, right? Take notes, write this down. If you don't click shuffle answers, the top answer for every student will be the right one. Um, I let them see their quiz responses, but not the right ones, because I want them to think about that and find those out. You may want that. You can allow multiple attempts. Again, we should explore this on your own. I always require an access code that doesn't allow them to take it until I'm ready for them to do it. I change this every hour, actually, so students can't give that access code and they, can, they can't take the quiz when you don't want them to. So there's that rundown. Um, questions, we can create new questions here just so you can see. Uh, if I show details, types of questions, if I hit edit, tons of type choices. I have multiple choice, all these options of questions. I'll let you explore those um, yourself, but just know I love multiple choice. I like writing them. Um, they're my go-to, what's brown and sticky. I created all these options. Just heads up, do not say all of the above. If that's a correct answer, don't say all of the above because when you shuffle answers, it may not be above. And technically, if you're students like me, they will argue that that is not a possible answer because if there are no options above it, it yeah, it's just going to create. So I always go with all options are possible, something along those lines where regardless of where this correct answer ended up in the series here, it would still be true. So there's that update question. Here is another way you can test. Take a look at that question. It's a beautiful question. Uh, assuming they know the particles of the atom, what neutral is, and all that jazz. Uh, this is there. Take the quiz. And then here's one with a numeric response. You can type in the number. Again, this is what the question looks like. It's a numeric numerical answer. Um, so that's quizzing. right? I love it. Um, I'm going to save this quiz. What our science department does here at the middle school is we actually um, create these questions. You can do it per quiz, or better yet, you can come over here and we actually write quizzes um, in question banks. And what we have here is several question banks. Some of them are good. Some of them, this isn't the most updated, but if you look at our weather question bank, we can click on that. And from here on out, like if we wanted to create a new test or a new quiz, I can write questions here, right? I can write questions here. Um, and then when I go to quizzes, I can draw from those quiz, those questions from the question banks. Um, it's an amazing thing. Like when I create a new quiz here, I'm not going to give it a name. I'm just going to show you what that looks like to um, draw from question the question bank. So I find questions. I can click on a specific bank and boom, 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 boom. I can select these questions and, and customize uh, customize this quiz. You know, if I have to do a retake, it makes it very easy. Very, very easy. It's awesome. Love it. Um, there's that. I'm not going to say that. I want to show you my favorite part here. Okay, I'm going to go to a current quiz I just took. It's actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out here and say this is the worst quiz I've given all year, um, student-wise. I'm going to show you what the analytics look like and why I love quizzes. I need to be quick here. Hopefully my computer will keep up. Um, this recent quiz I gave was about astronomy. Astronomy, astronomy, um, and this is season's quiz. So I asked some pretty tough questions. Um, choose the best answer. I'm going to go to quiz. So this is the quiz I created. 
this is what you want to do here, right here. Quiz statistics, beautiful site. Um, this will be all my sections, each of my sections. Again, the worst quiz I've given this year, but still, I think a good quiz, pretty tough. Um, so this gives me a breakdown. I can break it down by section. These are all my sections. I can see my low score, a question breakdown. I can see each individual um, option and how many people got it right. I can see the discriminator. Uh, I guess they're not on there here, but um, yeah, I, I've got, this was a terrible, a terrible option, terrible um not a, this question was tough clearly and uh, basically I love this because I can see what the students know what they don't know I can see individual students if I want like if I want to see um, who this guy was that didn't respond or who clearly didn't know what was going on I can click on that and like name drop here uh, but this is amazing love the quiz statistics and the quiz breakdown um, like show you another thing really quick with this uh, let's see what was it that was quiz statistics sorry it wasn't quiz statistics but uh, if I wanted to print out something I can export to an Excel file I'm on it my my home Chromebook um, this generates a report um, on your on your computer I believe it I'm not sure what kind of file it is but you can look at each student and look at what each student gave it's similar to a Socrative um, similar to a Socrative style um, report but this will show it's very detailed like every item the section you can get rid of this stuff but you can see what they selected it's uh, very detailed. I don't use it very often, but uh, I do love the item analysis of this quiz, um, of, of the quizzes. So that's one of my favorite parts of the quizzes. Anyway, hope this helps. And again, if you have any questions, you know where you can contact me.